I'm back again with another music video reaction. My name is Josh. Thanks for checking out the channel. And if you click the thumbnail, you're here to check out some Gunship. So you may or may not know who Gunship is. This is a band that I'm super familiar with as it's probably become my favorite band over the last, I don't know, two or three years since I got introduced to them. I got introduced to them much later in their career than I would have liked because I would have really enjoyed being right at the forefront of all their new music and being there to support them but i'm happy regardless that i was able to discover them just so i can enjoy it all together and in all reality as i've gone through and i've reacted to some of their videos uh most of them have not been new to me unless it's a brand new video that comes out because i've really watched most of their videos on repeat and that's really how i got into their music and today's song is actually one of if not the first video i actually watched theirs i can't remember if it was this one or when you grow up your heart dies or it was a combination maybe those two like back to back you know they link to each other but i just remember the song in of itself and the sound of it is super awesome super nostalgic you know it's got that good 80s synth wave vibe going to it but the videos for them just really pushed it over the edge for me and just made everything click and made me realize how awesome they are this one is no exception so this one i started watching i was like wow this is kind of interesting it's just kind of like an animation and I was like, wait a minute, you know, it's got a lot of things that I kind of recognize from parts of my childhood, whether it be the Lost Boys, and there's a little Buffy in there, Blade. I'm like, oh, man, these are all things that I love. And the music is awesome. And the more I watched, the more I just loved it. And it really started my whole love affair with synthwave music, especially new synthwave music that's come out. I've just been head over heels for it and I listen to anything and everything I can about it so the goal of this one of course I have seen this before probably only a gajillion times I mean I think it's got a couple million views and probably 20% of those are me you're welcome gunship but I also wanted to get more people exposed to different types of music which is the whole point of my channel is just to experience different things that bring us joy and I was hoping to maybe be able to share this with some people that aren't familiar with them because again they were a band for a long time before I found out about it and I fit so many of the the check mark boxes of people that should like this that it took me that while that long so we're really just trying to help expedite that process for some other people so plus I'm just a big fan of their so I want as many people to listen to them as possible a little biased but let's go ahead and check this one out this is gunship dark all day and this is featuring tom capello in indiana so there's a special singer and then you might recognize Tom tim capello tim from a specific movie i just referenced as he's playing his saxophone let's get to it Yeah, came into this for the first time, no idea. Santa Carla. Pretty sure that's not an actual real town. If you know the Lost Boys, you know this stuff. Let's roll into a low tip. Plus the animation style is really cool.
So that was Dark All Day by Gunship. And again, it's just one of my, I'm a little biased because it was one of the first songs I heard by Gunship, but there are so many cool things and callbacks to that song, let alone the song itself just being super catchy and enthralling. Then you have the actual video and it's got this whole anime story that's just going with it from all this nostalgic thing from my childhood anyway. And, you know, you got the Lost Boys in there. You got Buffy. I was a huge Buffy the Vampire Slayer fan when it came out. You got Blade. You got one of the Gecko brothers from, from Dust Till Dawn. There's just so many cool things that are happening in here. Little Easter eggs all over the place, whether it's the crotch pistol or any number of things. I believe the drummer was even kind of dressed as Ryu. And I'm still picking up little things, even though I've seen this literally a gajillion times. I mean, I think it's got a couple million views on there. I'm pretty sure I'm about half of those. And that's just sad because there should be a lot more views because the song is killer and the video is also just awesome. I mean, Gunship is awesome at just really blending the music with the video and making it like one piece of cool art that's really just presented to you. I mean, you can ha have each of them individually, but when you put them together, it's pretty unstoppable. And at least I know for me, it really works. I'm really drawing you in. Either way, I mean, all the cool stuff that they had in that video, but also Tim Capello. If you haven't seen the Lost Boys, go ahead and you can, I'll, you'll be forgiven for exiting out of this one and go find in the Lost Boys and watch that bad boy because that's a movie, oh, I mean so much. That's probably, ooh, I got to think about this, but it's definitely top five vampire movies of all time. Probably pretty high on the list of my favorite movies of all time in general just because of the timing of when I watched it, how many times I've watched it. The soundtrack is also killer. There's so many things that are along with that one that are so good, but Check out that movie. It's really good. That was the first movie that really showed me that you can play a saxophone at a concert in a chain mesh shirt and be kick-ass. That would be Tim, the saxophone player. Same one in this one. Still looking beefy as ever. I dig it. And that's probably, what, 30 years after the fact? Maybe not 30. No, it's at least 30, I think. Okay. That's making me feel old now. Either way, I really enjoyed the song. I know this is one that got a lot of people hooked onto it. I actually had a commenter just recently let me know a story about how she got into Gunship, and it was her partner that made her watch, I wouldn't say force, but got her to watch a bunch of the videos. And I think this was the first one that she got him, he got her to watch because he knew she loved Buffy and just got her hooked in. And it's, it's a sad story because she did lose her partner, but she still has the music. And she said in the comments that it reminds her a lot of her partner and, and, you know, just good things. And I'm hoping that's really what this will do for a lot of people. Because Gunship's not a band that's known by a ton of people, but really want to expand that and get that out there. And I really appreciate her sharing her story with me. And it uh, really helps motivate to just keep going because it's it's very nice to know that, like, this is the type of song and band that, that really, they just touch something deep down inside me. And I don't know exactly what that is, but it just fuels me to, to keep going, keep being creative, and keep enjoying life. And, you know, hearing from people 
about their different experiences and exposures to gunship or just different music in general and what that means to them is super powerful. So I really appreciate that. And thanks for sharing your story. And hopefully this got some more people exposed to gunship and go out there and check them out because they should be a lot bigger than they are, in my opinion. I'm a little biased, of course. But let me know some of those I should check out. And if you haven't heard them before, what did you think? Because I'm definitely going to be doing more, even if like three people watch it. Those three people are going to be really happy. Don't forget, like, share, subscribe. Go to that subscribe button if you would. That'd be fantastic. And as always, you're awesome. Peace out.